This is the quick look at the iPhone SE 2 running the iOS 26. I have installed the iOS 26 developer beta on the iPhone SE 2, the oldest iPhone that still supports this update. If you are thinking about installing iOS 26 on your SE 2, this video will help you decide if it's worth it. Let's dive in and see how it performs. Now, as you can see, I am running the iOS 26 developer beta on my iPhone SE 2. Since this is an early beta, then make sure to back up your iPhone before installing it. You will notice some bugs like glitches, slow animations, and occasional app crashes. It's definitely not stable enough for daily usage. Now starting with the lock screen, you will notice the new liquid glass design applied to the clock and notifications. It looks really modern, but the readability of the notification text is not that great. Now hopefully Apple will fix that very soon. iOS 26 brings a new larger clock that dynamically adjusts when you scroll through the notifications. Unlocking the iPhone SE 2 also feels slightly faster with smoother animations. Now take a look at the Touch ID. Just place your finger on the sensor and the phone unlocks instantly. If you are using a passcode, you will see the new buttons with the liquid glass design and they look fantastic. Now this is the home screen of the iOS 26 with all new icons featuring the liquid glass tile. They look stunning at first glance. The swiping between the pages is mostly smooth, not perfect, but definitely usable. You might run into some random app crashes or freezing, but overall it works just fine. But just don't expect buttery smooth performance on this update. The customization has improved in iOS 26. Long press anywhere on the home screen to enter jiggle mode. And you will see a new edit button in the top right corner. Now tapping it brings up a new panel to edit wallpaper, widgets, and customize your home screen. Now let's try the customize option. You will see a new control sheet. You can now tint app icons in light or dark shades. Sometimes the icons load slowly or get stuck, but when it works, it looks really nice. Now, this is definitely an area where iOS 26 has improved. Now, take a look at the all new control center that has been completely redesigned. Now, some might not like it, but I think it's a decent upgrade. It features the liquid glass effect on each control. The brightness and volume sliders are now rounded vertical bars. However, the control center still needs some work. The background blur and contrast aren't quite good. Now, compared to iOS 18, it's a big visual upgrade, but Apple should make it perfect before the final release. iOS 26 brings a major redesign to the camera application. Now using the liquid glass design, it looks clean, minimal, and is very user-friendly. The performance is very smooth. I did not notice any lag while navigating through the options. Now swiping up brings additional controls with a beautiful glass effect. Now zooming and shutter response are fast and fluid, no major issues here. Apple did a great job on the camera interface. With just 3 gigs of RAM, the iPhone SE 2 handled app switching surprisingly very well. Some apps reloaded but mostly stayed in memory. App launching is fairly smooth and you won't face major stuttering. The performance overall is decent, not super fast, but usable. Overall, iOS 26 on the iPhone SE 2 runs pretty well, but it's not perfect. If you push the iPhone too hard, it tends to heat up and the battery drains faster than usual. These issues are common on older iPhones running new software. 
Let's see how Apple optimizes performance for older iPhones in a stable release this September. That's a quick look at the iOS 26 on the iPhone SE 2. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KS Kirayo. I will see you in the next one.